what's up y'all so today i'm just gonna make like a short little video um showing some tips to detailing your rugs um you can do it before you can do it after and i'm just gonna show you guys a little bit of both um and give you some little tips and tricks that you can use so let's get to it <music> show you guys you see this i just tucked at this right here and you see how it has all these little pieces flaring out and when you tuck something else like another color it'll end up looking like this right here so i'm gonna show you guys how to get like a straight line a nice sharp crisp line so you can use scissors or you can use some clippers either one will do justice I was using clippers at first, but it, I had less control over like getting holes or like just a little bitty like cutting my rug. Um, so I mean my my uh, cloth. So I tend to not use these anymore, and I, I just like to use regular scissors because I have more control over what I want and how I want it to look. So you just want to go in and shape it how you're wanting. Now, keep this in mind. You want to make sure that when you're cutting, you're keeping this little bevel piece right here. Make sure you're just at the end of that, like you're touching that fa uh, the fabric. Because if not, and you just go in like, say like this, or you're trying to do like this, you can easily put a hole in here. So, and I had to learn this the hard way. So if you look right here, you can't tell, but you can tell. You know there's a lot of fabric coming through, but look at this. Look at that. And that's because I was just cutting, cutting, and I ended up cutting my fabric. So it looks a little jagged, but it's going to be an easy fix, and you can watch this next video here soon, and I'm definitely going to show you how to patch up these holes. All right, now back to this. So like I said, just make sure you're keeping this little bevel piece against your fabric. That way you will not, it's, le it's least likely for you to cut your fabric. So, and honestly, that's all to it. So, yeah, that's it. So also, when you're cutting your your um, yarn, yes, you can just cut like straight lines here on the side, but you want to go in and actually get some of this top pieces, these top bulk off, okay? Because if you look from the side, you put another color in here. Yes, you got all this off of here, but you didn't get all this excess. So this excess is still going to overlap and you're going to have to go in again and trim it up. So go here at a little bit of an angle and get some of that top off like this. And I'll show you again on this side. So check this out. Once again, you can do this right here. And you see, looks like it'll be fine, but you got all this excess right here that's gonna fold on, on the top of the next color that you're gonna put down. So go at a little angle and just get some of this off. And trust me, you're not gonna cut more than you need to. Cause I know you might be worried about losing some definition or it being, you cutting too much, it, you're not gonna cut too much. And if you do, you just go back in and tuck some more. You know, it's, yeah, it's easy fixes. But this is gonna make this way much easier. And you can see a difference between this one and like this. All this little excess. This is going to end up looking like this. And like these up here, you can tell that I see how that's just a straight line like that. That's because I went in and cut. Now, if you look over here, you can tell that I didn't go cut. And now I'm going to have to go in with some tweezers and move that yarn and then do some extra cutting. 
So you can either save a step by go ahead and cutting um, before you put another color or you can just do all that at the end, which either way it goes, it's gonna be time consuming. Um, so honestly, why not save you some time in the end where you can just shave it down and do minor cleanups. So I also wanted to mention, you see these right here, how this is all just looks like it's, you can't even tell what it is. You can tell it's a mouth, but it's not defined or anything. And I did not cut this. And that's because with smaller detail, I find that if I cut this I, beforehand, instead of just cutting everything afterwards, I tend to lose some type of, some of the definition that I want because the details are so small and it's not a lot of yarn that I tucked it there in the first place. So for small details like this, you can either use like a punch needle to get it kind of really neat, which I don't, I just use my gun, or you can just do all your final detailing for the small um, areas at the end, which is what I do. So like these bigger areas like this, I will go ahead and trim it. And you see how I've got my scissors up against here and then I cut up against there and then I cut. Please don't ever go like this because you can easily like stick that in there and goodbye fabric. So I want you guys to just take a look at this right here. So this is a piece of a rug that I've already trimmed up and you see how it looks like really neat, like you can really make out the letters. That's what you want, okay? And if you need to go back in and trim like some areas like this right here, if it's not as clean as you would like it to be, just go back in and do a little bit more trimming. Now I also wanted to say that it's better to trim before you do another color, especially when you're doing letters um, because those letters can be tricky sometimes. And when you when you do letters and they're not as clean, sometimes you can't get them as clean as you would if you were to just go ahead and trim them before you did another color instead of trimming them at the end. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish trimming this up on this side. And um, in the next clip, I'll show you guys what it will look like once you tuck the new color and how clean that line is gonna be. All right, so I'm gonna just tuck this little piece real quick and I'm gonna show you guys what that looks like from the back and how well these lines are gonna look just from cutting before I put this next color in. straight these lines are compared to let's show you oh, compared to this yeah that's nice I mean even this one and once you trim this with your sheep shears it's gonna even be even cleaner because you know all this is uneven so yeah that's what that's what that looks like so once again, highly recommend trimming before before doing another color because it will definitely end up looking good and it saves you some time. All right, so say you already finished your rug and you forgot to trim it up. So on a finished rug, well, a one that you've already tufted. it. So how you can just go in, you can take some scissors or you can get like some smaller scissors like these right here. Um, these are my uh, little curved scissors. I have some curved ones and I have some straight ones. But for the smaller letters, you can take your curved scissors or regular scissors and you just go in on each side of these colors. So 
go in on each side and just start trimming. Once you trim on this side, a little better just go on this side and do the same thing now I was doing this first before I started um, trimming before colors and I found that I really I really like this only on certain smaller details because it's easier see it looks looks a little better but I like my bigger scissors because it's more to take off. But once again, I don't like how there's like bevels once you go in and cut like these little pieces out. I don't like the bevel. It looks, looks like this is bigger and then that's that. And then you trim it down with your sheep shears and it's a little smaller than you like. I don't, I don't like that. So I definitely would recommend trimming before um, doing your colors unless it's with smaller details um, which these are not that small of letters um, for letters definitely try to trim before each color because it, it just it looks better to me even though you can get the same outcome just like this same outcome I just don't like the bevel and I you can't see it what I'm seeing here, let's see if we can. But you see, it's like a little indent right here. Maybe you can see it from the side. Yeah. But, I mean, it's not bad, but if that's what you're going for, you're trying to make everything a little more bold and you want your letters to stick out, then definitely go for this. But if you're just wanting it all cohesive and the same kind of consistency around same depth around definitely go this route 